Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. In these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and to the point. And of course, at the end of this video, I'll show you where you can access more in-depth videos to give you a safe place to practice and to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you. Our question type focus this week is, drum roll, multi-select. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here is your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. It says to select all, that means we're going to try all, look at all closely, work out all of the choices. Select all of the statements that are not true. So we are looking for the answers that are false. Yeah, read that carefully. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video and solve this one on your own, and then when you're ready, come on back to check your work. All right, welcome back. Let's go over this. So we've got some rounding going on. The first one says two and 587 thousandths rounded to the nearest hundredth is two and 58 hundredths. Two and 587 rounded to the nearest hundredth. So the eight is the digit in the hundredths place. So we have 258 hundredths, but next door we have seven. So this goes beyond our halfway mark. So no, this would actually round to two and 59 hundredths there. So this one is false, which is an answer that we want, right? Because we're looking for the ones that are not true. So the first one is not true, therefore we're selecting it. Let's take a look at the next one, change colors here. We have two and 587, two and 587 thousandths to be Correct. Rounded to the nearest tenth is two and six tenths. So what digit is in the tenths place right now? We've got a five, right? Which means that we have 25 tenths and 87 thousandths behind it. Because we have 87 thousandths, that is past the halfway mark between each tenth, making it so it would round up to two and six tenths. This is true but we are looking for the answers that are not true. So what can we do with this answer choice? Eliminate it, right? All right, now we have one and 462 thousandths rounded to the nearest whole is one. One and 462 thousandths rounded to the nearest whole. So what digit is in the whole place? The one, right? We're looking at the ones place for the whole place. So we have one whole. And behind it, we have 462 thousandths. Halfway would be 500 thousandths. So it's less than halfway, meaning that yes, it rounds to one whole or just one by itself. So this is true. Remember that we're looking for the answers that are not true, so we can eliminate that one. Now we have the same number, one and 462 thousandths. This time rounded to the nearest tenth. What digit is in the tenths place? The four. We need to see if it's one and four tenths. So we have 14 tenths and we have 62 thousandths. Halfway would be 50 thousandths. So this is past halfway, meaning that we round up to one and five tenths. So this is false and careful because that's what we're looking for with this question. Which ones are not true? Well, this one right here is not true, which is why we're selecting it. There's a lot of negatives going around, so you gotta make sure that you really think about it each time. Now, a lot of students with multi-select, they'll find two answers and then they'll stop investigating the other ones. Don't do that. Sometimes it could be, it doesn't have to just be two answers. It could be more than that. So we need to make sure that we really go through and think mathematically and have some reasoning of why we're keeping or eliminating our answer. Now for the next one, we have 23 and 709 thousandths rounded to the nearest 10 is 20. So let's write this number down. Okay, rounded to the nearest 10. So the digit two is in the tens place, which means we have two tens. And behind it, we have three ones. Well, halfway between two tens and three tens would be 25 
and this is less than that. So this would round to the 10 prior, which would be two tens, which is 20. So this is true, but we are looking for answers that are false, so we can eliminate that one. All right, now for the last one, we have 23 and 709 thousandths again. Rounded to the nearest tenth is 23 and 8 tenths. So the tenths place is where that digit 7 is. We have 237 tenths and we have 9 thousandths. Halfway would be 50 thousandths. So this is less than that, which means that it would be 2 and, I'm sorry, 23 and 7 tenths, which is false. Which again, the question was looking for, finding the ones that are not true. This one is not true, so we're going to mark it. The first choice, the fourth choice, and the last choice are the correct answers there. Make sure that you pause this video to get all of the notes recorded, and that is your Florida Fast Math for Ruby of the Week. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, and more confident with anything, you have to put in the practice. You have to throw down your best effort every single time. I believe in you and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.